Hey everyone, Bricknut here. In today's video I thought I would take a look at LEGO's new road system and uh, give you my thoughts on it. So, in front of me I've got two of their sets from this year which feature the new road system and I'm kind of on the fence. I do like it but there's also a number of things that I don't like about it. Um, but uh, I'm going to show you exactly what it is in case you haven't seen it yet. So that's all it's made up of. Well, this is one size. There's two different sizes. This is the 16 by 16 plate. So it's just a modified 16 by 16 plate, as you can see. The other size is an 8 by 16 plate. And that comes in two designs. You've got one with the zebra crossing stripes on and one without. Just that simple. Um, and that is it. That's all there is to them. And in each set they include some of these to go on each end. So you get six for this one, four for this one. As this is just meant to be a straight road and you've got the T-junction system here. So, I can only think of a couple of cons with this at the moment. Um, one is related to moving these sets around. With these larger sets it's quite difficult. You actually have to take them apart in sections to move them. You can't move them as one because they just aren't strong enough. Um, because they literally only joined with, well, like this section here is only joined with that 2x4 plate. That just goes on like that, which you can move quite easily like that. But once you've got this, which is not connected to this, and this is not connected to that, it's only connected to the road, it starts getting a bit wibbly wobbly and you risk, because I've nearly done it myself, you risk, you know, like one of these heavier sections falling off. Uh, so that's one con. I don't like that about it. It's not. It's fine when it's like this, but if you want to move it, it can be a bit of a pain. The other one is actually related to a LEGO City point of view, and I think this one would just depend on, you know, personal opinion and the style of city you want to go for. There's no curves. <laughs> And you can't put or make one of these into a curve because there just isn't enough room to get two cars on. So, if you're like basing your city on, you know, a typical American city which is done in straight lines and blocks, perfect road system. That would be brilliant for that. But if you want to base it on something like a European town or city, which is most likely what mine will be, no curves. So, it can be a bit of a drawback there on using this system. So for me, when I rebuild my MC, I'm going to stick to the, the uh, traditional road plates. <clears throat> that, and I just really, really like those anyway. Those are, I think, at the moment, unless I think of any more through the video, they're the only two cons I can think of. Um... Well, I suppose one is sort of a pro and a con, depending which way you look at it, or what sort of city you want to build. Anyway. I think most of the pros are pretty much from the perspective of it being a playset. So, um... I think LEGO have done a great job on designing these, and I think, um... I'd be surprised if these don't sell well as the play sets that they are intended to be. You know, I can see kids really liking these for many reasons. It's so easy to add your own buildings to these because these 8 by 16 plates and 16 by 16 plates are quite popular. I should think everyone's got them in their little Lego collection. So you can build your own buildings on them and easily attach them to this. Um, plus, again, from a playset perspective, it's so easy to connect this to that, and then you can change everything around. So easy just to swap and change, and you know. And to me, 
that adds a lot of playability value to these. So, again, as a playset perspective, I think LEGO have um, personally outdone themselves with this. If I, you know, pretend I'm a child for the moment, and I walk into the, a toy shop and I see sets like this, I'd think, oh, cool. You can build your own city with them, you know, clip, clip them all together and swap everything around and to me as a child that would just be so cool <laughs> so yeah playability playset value quite high in my opinion on these um, oh I forgot to mention that the tiles that are included with the white stripe they're actually printed tiles they're not stickers and again you know, there's so much you can do with just these just these alone you could put speed bumps in which I've used some roof tiles here for speed bumps I don't quite like those there so I'm going to remove those when I've done the review on the set you can get these little sort of on ramps I suppose which again from a play set perspective is great because it just allows for a nice smooth transition from like the floor so to speak pretend that's the floor onto the road which no doubt you know that's what kids will do, they'll have it on the bedroom floor like that, so, you know, you know, go from the floor and up, that is such a nice smooth transition as well. And Lego being Lego have completely thought this out, because obviously you've got these four bits in the middle to put tiles in. I'll just put a couple in like that. And as you've probably noticed, there's like little Technic holes been stamped through the middle. So you can just get something like um, a minifigure spanner or tool and just poke it through the holes, pop those tiles straight out. <clears throat> so. I still haven't actually thought of anything else I would consider a con, to be honest. From an AFOL perspective, I do like some of the buildings, particularly in the, well, I like this set because of that building, it's quite a nice design. These are quite minimalistic. Um, I do like the style, this is just basically the frontage of a couple of shops, that's all they've put on here. Um, yeah, I could get the parts and just build this out a bit, actually this one would be quite easy. And I'll probably end up doing that. Um, I think I've got enough of these light tan pieces. I may do the same for the um, cycle shop there. I don't want to go into too much details because I want to do the reviews on these. Um, the little electric cars. It's getting very common for Lego to build little electric cars. <laughs> they try to promote themselves as being eco-friendly. I know they want to change the formula of their plastic and the bricks to be more eco-friendly. Which to me is not a bad thing. As long as they don't, you know, stray away from the quality of their bricks. Anyway. What I say yeah, from an A-fold perspective. Vehicles are nice, so if you want to add vehicles to your Lego City as an AFOL, they might be worth buying for that. A nice one there. I actually quite like that truck, to be honest. Not so much a little car, it's just you know a simple car and one of them little chassis. The sort of little car that you could make hundreds of at your own Lego. <laughs> at least I could. <clears throat> Downside to those speed humps, if you get that just right, the wheels will go either side of it. See, I've got that just right. Sometimes the bonnet will catch, but not the bonnet, the bumper. Uh, I think that's another con, you know, these are heavily based towards, well, I was going to say it's a con, it's not really, because that's what Lego's about, isn't it? You know, aiming it at kids. <clears throat> um, really, 
here's an AFOL. I can't see many reasons to want to buy these. Again, unless you want to make your city using these roads. Or there's some parts in these sets that you might want, like the um, glow in the dark street lights, for example. Or the solar panel, quite like that myself. Ooh, I actually really like that idea for those street lights. All the vehicles, for example. Even with the modern house, that's got an EV in it as well. That's an electric vehicle. I think they're sort of keeping it blue as the theme for the electric vehicles. Yeah, so I do like this system, but at least for what I'd want in my own city, it's not going to be suitable. I could do like little back roads using these just to change things up in the city a bit. Or a little residential street, maybe. Because at least in Britain, residential roads are quite often a lot narrower than main roads. Sometimes only a single car wide, so these could have their use there. But most of my roads, I think, will just be on the traditional uh, road plates. So, is there anything else I could think of to add about these? No, I don't think so, really. Well, I did a bit of a review on them, didn't I? Because I talked about these as a playset rather than the roads, but never mind. I'm going to stick with things as I've gone, because quite frankly, I've done too many takes on this video now. I swear, I thought this was going to be quite easy doing YouTube videos. No. No, it takes a lot of work and a lot of time, unfortunately. But I do enjoy it. So... I hope you enjoyed this video as well. And as always, let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. And I will, as always, link the Discord channel, Discord server rather, and the um, Facebook page in the description down below. Um, I am posting more to the Discord server. I hadn't been, had been neglected for a bit, as well as the Facebook page. I am posting as much as I can to those. So, uh, yeah. Uh, um, I suppose I should say thanks a lot for watching. My brain farted for a moment there. <laughs> thanks a lot for watching, everyone, and I will talk to you again very soon. Bye.